I'm going to start project using the PyCharm. To open the PyCharm, we installed the PyCharm last time, and uh, we are going to open the PyCharm. Remember, PyCharm is a hardy hell which is very epic. So for you to uh, to able to work out with PyCharm, you have a machine with at least two core or three processors for it to work well. You also require a machine with a very uh, speed in terms of RAM. For example, four or eight RAMs can be good. So PyCharm is best for those who are starting the programming from the scratch. So this is a very uh, beginner friendly uh, ID hill. So today we are not going to waste any time. We are going to create the, our first project for beginners. So how do we do it? Let me start from scratch. Let me close this PyCharm, uh, which is already running. Let's uh, now search for the PyCharm. Let go search and then search for PyCharm. PyCharm. It comes like PyCharm Community Edition 2022.2 app. And you close to open. Uh, not close, but you click to open. And it open like this. That's what you have very few minutes or very few seconds. And uh, you can see it opening. Remember, this is a easiest way uh, whereby you are not going to configure or you are not going to create any environment. After you create the project, everything is sorted for you. You just go straight to start uh, doing your work. So when this comes, maybe when you are new, it will come with a blank space and you can click on new project but if it is coming from here you can choose from file and then you click on the file you click on new project and the right open things that you must uh, be sure of is number one when you are creating the project using PyCharm uh, you have to configure the virtual environment and uh, it is here under uh, under this line new environment you see virtual environment remember when we are doing the last video we see virtual environment and uh, we created it, this one from scratch ourselves but now it has been created automatically by the PyCharm and another thing that you should be uh, aware of it is the interpreter for our case, we are using Python interpreter, which is located in uh, in these uh, computer users and uh, in a program Python Python, which is Python of our version 3.10, in form of .exe, meaning for Windows. Now, after that, you can name your project and a name that you wish. For me, let me say, uh, let me name it the WEMP development. WEMP dev. Then after that, that is our name of the project web dev. Then you come and then click on create. It will not ask you this uh, question. The dialog box is coming because there is uh, this project that is ongoing. Uh, it will just create itself. But for me, because of this uh, current pro pro project, let me say create in new window. And wait a bit. Remember, we have said PyCharm is uh, heavy and it requires a uh, bit. A faster machine not like git and vs code now uh, yeah that is how it is and there is some there is a 
uh, something that is coming here uh, telling you download pre built shared indexes if you know this one and close it no need then you can now start uh, your project your project the name the project folder is here it has been created here and uh, it is being said it is being said or it's named as web dev the way we have named it and inside it we have to we have main.py and we have virtual environment remember this has created automatically we have to build it or we have to create it ourselves if we are using it then the other thing i want you to understand before we go far is what if you want to see where this project is in the desktop where does it located you come here you click on files you come here you click on open when you click on open remember it is on the user account in this computer uh, uh, user or pc user and then click on user and it is still located in pycharm projects you go down go down go down until you look at and you find the find pycharm project here click on pycharm project and inside the pycharm proje project you see the web depth so this is a project this is where it is located and this is within the picture you can also see this in the real application like this you just go to users just go to users yeah where it is users you click on users you click on on uh, on pycharm projects this pycharm project and then you can see you are web dev you can open it you see only two are there the virtual environment and the main dot okay let's go back to our web dev now let's close this you have known where our project is located in the machine now now the very important thing that i want you to understand today is we want we cannot we we can use this uh, pycharm for development but uh, i want you to show you how to use the vs code while in pycharm because vs code is best for coding it's best it has got good it has no stress there but when it comes to pycharm it's best in data science but not in uh, web development so let me show you how now you can connect yourself to the to the VS code and start running your application first of all you go to terminal remember that I'm, I'm, I'm open to any questions that you may face any challenges that you may face you can con comment on my YouTube Facebook uh, in my YouTube and uh, I will answer you right away and if you you can also go to my website and post your question there when it comes to website uh, if you want if you see my re reply being slow you can retreat you can uh, 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 retreat the question so that is appears on the top but i assure you i will answer all questions now uh here remember we installed three things in this machine we installed pycharm we have installed we already installed the vs code we are now have installed the the python uh the the, the pycharm now and then vs code and then the git now the, the the git is what i'm going to use throughout the course because it's very good and it is very good in fashion fashion control to host your code in github where it can stay forever without getting lost now you can see this arrow pointing down ones click on it and when you click on that arrow pointing down ones you see window powershell you see command prompt 
and the circuit bus. Uh, straight away, if you are not able to see the, uh, the three uh, 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 commands, you have not installed the git in right way. Still comment on the video below and then let me know where is the problem. Now you click on git bash. You see, now this is a environment in which we are going to play or we are going to, to work on our project. This is called terminal. This is called Python terminal and the other one is called git terminal. So uh, working in command line, that is obvious for web developers. We just work using this. Now let's uh, open this our project because it's already open here in PyCharm and we are not going to use PyCharm uh, env uh, uh, environment development because of reasons. Uh, let's look at how can we open this project in the VS Code. Let's go. We have type code space and dot. That dot has got significance. It means go to VS Code and open the current project that we are in on there. Okay, and then you click and then you hit enter key. You wait very and then you see. Yeah, this is this is this is now the the VS. This is the area. This is now where we are going to start developing next time. We shall be developing here. We shall be writing code here. And we shall be running our our command using the terminal of this one. We shall write our, 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 our command to be executed here. And we are going to use this just to code a uh, code like HTML code. We shall all write it here, CSS code, or it here, and JavaScript code. We shall write here. Now, having said that, I want you to know that in Django, we have two ways in which you can develop the project, uh, your, 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 your website. We use we have the API and we use the uh, we use that to develop very advanced way uh, and websites so we can we are coming to that later but for now and for this series we are going to use the css html and and javascript and python for coding so uh, when we come to Django and an advanced level, uh, the next series will be using APIs. We shall we shall uh, make our own APIs, which will be able to interact online. So having said that, we have successfully opened the VS Code. We have successfully created our project known as web dev in the PyCharm. We have already have the virtual environment where our project is going to be confined. Remember, without virtual environment, the code will be anywhere globally. So we use the virtual environment to ensure that our project is within the same uh, development environment. So that is the importance of having ENV. So everything that is going to be located in our web development will be there. No, nothing will be found in global. So I want to wish you a very, very good as we meet next time. And next time we shall, we shall set the Django. We shall also uh, create our Django projects and Django hubs and how to and how 
if time allows next time we shall also create the first web page which says hello world using the picture using the git and using the vs code editor i wish you every uh, i wish you very best as you meet next time god bless you support this channel and i'll be grateful thank you